Christ our King is coming. He is the Lamb foretold by John. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us thy salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who are weighed down from of old by slavery, benefit the beneath the yoke of sin may be set free by the newness of the long-awaited nativity of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up a righteous shoot to David. As king he shall reign and govern wisely. He shall do what is just and right in the land. In his days Judah shall be saved. Israel shall dwell in security. This is the name they give him, the Lord our justice. Therefore, the days will come, says the Lord, when they shall no longer say, As the Lord lives, who brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but rather, as the Lord lives, who brought the descendants of the house of Israel up from the land of the north, and from all the lands to which I banished them, they shall again live on their own land. The word of the Lord. Be Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. Justice shall flourish in his hand, and glory is a feast for him. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel who alone does wondrous deeds, and blessed forever be his glorious name. May the whole earth be filled with his glory. of Israel, giver of the law to Moses on Sinai, come to rescue us with your mighty power. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. 
This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took his wife into his home. He had no relations with her until, he bore, until she bore a son, and he named him Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning, morning Bob. Years ago, gosh, I was probably in high school and we were on one of these youth retreats and the priest was uh, speaking about the Holy Family and said, if anything went wrong, it would always be Joseph's fault. Mm-hmm. And we kind of looked at him like, what? He said, think about it. You've got the Son of God and the Immaculate Conception. <laughs> Who's going to be at fault? Well, well, okay, it makes sense. But uh, years later, years later, uh, as I've grown, I, I've begun to appreciate the fact that Joseph is just like us. He's not the Son of God. He's not immaculate conceived. He struggles and triumphs just like us, which gives us a very grounded example of that, of the fact that we can succeed too through the grace of God as Joseph did. Last night in the RCIA, we were discussing the four cardinal virtues Prudence, justice, temperance, and fortitude. And they're called cardinal, not because of the bird or the color. It's because it means the word cardinal. It means hinge. All the other virtues hinge upon these main four. And Joseph, in just this gospel passage, and what was left out in the passage, exhibits those virtues. If we may go back and examine and just think about it. Nowadays, if a a man was told that his uh, engaged, his betrothed, uh, was with child from somewhere else, not him, he would go through a series of emotions anger, distrust, sadness, confusion. He would doubt her love. In imitating Joseph, he exhibits the virtues for the sheer fact that, number one, he is temperate. Temperate. Uh, The virtue of temperance. Basically, temperance is knowing when to say when. It's moderation. Joseph does not allow his anger to get the best of him. He does not allow any of the passions, the emotions, to get the best of him. And that is a great sign that we too can triumph over our emotions, especially the anger and wrath. Joseph is just. Just means to give the other their due. Sure, he understands that by Jewish religious law at the time, Mary is an adulterer and will be stoned. But he understands 
justice, true justice, to give Mary her due, to respect her dignity, means I cannot, I cannot immediately pursue that course of action. I have to look at her, look at her dignity, and think, am I willing to take this life at this time? He's prudent. And this is, to me, the, the, the supreme one of all in Joseph's uh, ability. Prudence is just good sense, good awareness, self-reflection. We used to call this common sense. But it's being reflective, knowing your abilities, what your strengths are, and what your weaknesses are. And Joseph, taking into account the situation, exercising justice, exercising temperance, goes to bed and thinks about it. He's prudent. He doesn't make a rash decision. He thinks, I'm going to go, and I promise you, the scripture doesn't tell us certain things. They're not that important. It's like how many times did Jesus eat in the New Testament? Uh, less than 20, and he lived 33 years. There's no way humanly possible that uh, a person can live 33 years on less than 20 meals. So scripture doesn't tell us, but we have to assume, and I think it would be a correct assumption to say, Joseph probably fell asleep in prayer. He had probably been praying, thinking, debating amongst himself, really struggling with the idea. And he probably in sheer exhaustion just fell asleep. And lastly, he exhibits fortitude. Fortitude is courage. How many times have you had an odd dream? Because we can explain something. An angel appeared in a dream. Well, you can wake up the next morning and say, well, that was a bad meatball I had, per se. But courage. To believe that this was from God. And to go and do what is right. Even if that would mean costing him anything. Fortitude means to do what is right, even if that means you sacrifice up to your life, but you know it's the right thing to do. And he did that, knowing it was the right thing to do. He took a step in courage. And all of this exhibited, all these four virtues in Joseph, they're, they're capped off by the pinnacle love. God chose Joseph because he knew. Deep down, Joseph was a man of love. A real man. You know, nowadays we see these pseudo images of what a man should be. A man is a person who can be strong and be weak and vulnerable at the same time. A man can laugh, a man can cry. Joseph exhibits true manliness at this moment. And it's a heart of love that inspires that manliness. So we thank God today for Joseph. I know it's not one of his feasts, but my gosh, he is such an awesome saint, an awesome individual, an awesome man. Someone for us to ask to help us, to intercede for us, that we may live the virtues as he did every day. May Almighty God be with you. May he bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick, or suffering in any way this day. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who will watch this Mass on video and for the needs of you here present in our church. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray this Mass for Karma Clark and her family. And we remember her son Wesley at this time uh, as he gets ready to move to a new school. 
during this Christmas break. For them, this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise uh, offered to the Trinity. Glory, Glory be to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. <clears throat> creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, for it is the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice May the sacrifice to be offered to you, O Lord, make us acceptable to your name, that we may merit for all eternity to be the companions of Christ, by whose death our own mortality was healed, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond no telling. John the Baptist saying he was coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so they may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the host and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory is without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread on it, giving thanks, and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, 
For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that after taking up of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you live not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not His name will be called Emmanuel, which means God with us.
Let us pray. May we receive your mercy in the midst of your temple, O Lord, and show fitting honor to the coming solemnities of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael for our families. Saint Holy Lord. Michael the Archangel, defend Amen. us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praise and protection against storms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Consoler. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, the Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and in his 